So hi, everybody. I'm here with uh, Eden Licka. You're up playing tennis in Romania, right? Yes. Uh, basically, I played tennis since I was born. Uh, wow. I'm in Delray Beach. Delray Beach? Like five minutes away from the, from the stadium. It's a fantastic location. I feel like home here, you know, by the ocean. The weather is fantastic. So you live right by the stadium? But, uh, yeah, like five minutes away. So when did you find and how did you find pickleball? I started pickleball like three and a half years ago okay. in, uh, in Milford. I was playing tennis with, uh, you know, with my, my students I was teaching on the court. And actually, I was annoyed by the sound, by the sound of the ball. I played my first tournament in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, yeah, the Gamma. I met uh, when I first met uh, Frank Anthony Davis. Uh, Do you work at a tennis facility or a yeah, class? the tennis and pickleball director at Polo Trace in Delray Beach. You played with Andre. Yeah. You play with a lot. And uh, I saw, I watched the Zane and Merchant match. That was a great match. You guys won. Yes. Welcome to Pickleball is Life. If you like these videos, all I ask is that you please press the red subscribe button on the bottom right. It won't cost you anything. I wanted to thank my new sponsor, Franklin, for sponsoring my channel. They make the X40 Pickleball, which is the official ball of the U.S. Open. A full line of paddles, including the Ben Johns, Christine McGrath, and Aspen Kern signature paddles, net sets, bags, and other accessories, including the well-known Franklin Performance Gloves. And if you want to support my channel, check out my shirts, hats, shorts, and sport towels available online at Etsy. So hi, everybody. I'm here with uh, Eden Licka. You're a professional pickleball player now, right, Eden? Hi. That's why, you know, try to believe that I am. <laughs> so t tell me where you grew up. I, I think it's Romania, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. So I was born in Romania in uh, 1984 uh, in Constanza by the Black Sea. I would say, you know, uh, the most beautiful uh, city in Romania with the best nightlife ever uh, <laughs> and uh, with the most beautiful women. I guarantee you that. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's known for the nightlife, you know, and uh, for the uh, attractions, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's a wonderful city. Do you get to like, have itself. you been back recently or? I mean, yeah, I go, I go back, you know, every, every summer, but with, with what happened in the last, uh, in the last two years, I haven't been home for like two years and, you know, with COVID, of course, I mean, right? more than ever. Are your parents still living there or are they in the States? They live there. Uh, they have a business. We have uh, an indoor uh, tennis uh, facility. Tennis? Uh, actually, we have also Pickable. It's the only location in Romania where we have Pickable. Thanks. Oh, I've got to put it on my map. I have a pickleball yeah. Google map. Uh, you got to tell me the location. More of my sponsor. They uh, helped me with, uh, you know, they provided me everything there. Uh, all I needed, you know, paddles, rackets, balls, nets, uh, all the supplies. Nice, nice. So yeah. I, I read that you uh, grew up playing tennis in Romania, right? Yes. Uh, basically, I played tennis since I was born. Uh, wow. I mean, I started when I was six, actually. Um, so basically, all my life was on the on the tennis court. Um, mm -hmm. I uh, I finished when I was twenty six because of my uh, of my injury at my right elbow. I had oh. you know surgeries on my right elbow, and uh, I had to stop when I was uh, twenty six. Yeah. So where did you did you play on the tour? Yeah, I played on the tour for of years uh, I play you know nationally I play uh, in Europe a lot um, I finish uh, number 10 in the world when I was uh, 16 uh, uh -huh. my best ranking so I had like a you know, tough generation with a lot of good players like you know uh, Richard Gasquet Mario Ancic uh, nice. Tonga uh, Djokovic is uh, a little younger but uh, Rafa Nadal also a tough generation yeah That's so great. Did you know, I know you're good friends with Andre. Did you play tennis with him at all back then? Uh, uh, he's a little younger than, uh, than I am, but okay. uh, yeah, we're very good friends. Uh, he's, uh, he's 33, uh, so he's not my generation. But uh, we, you know, we practice together, but we never played an official, uh, an official match together uh, before. And you went to co college in Romania? In Romania, uh, I graduated sports and physical educa education. Okay. Uh, 
I was also was a teacher for uh, you know two years. Uh, I taught the sports and physical education. Okay. Yeah, and you know, that helped me a lot uh, with my uh, you know tennis skills and uh, tennis teaching. When did you come to the states? Uh, I mean, first time I came to the states when I was 15. Uh, I played a couple of tournaments like Eddie Hare, Orange Ball, and um, then I came back in 2013. 2013. You know? Yeah, 2013, I got a job in Connecticut. I saw uh, it, you, in your um, uh, uh, profile, it's yeah. uh, Milford, Connecticut or something? Milford, Connecticut, exactly, yeah. yeah. And how long did you live up there for a while? Uh, for uh, three years there, for three years. I got a job uh, uh, in Milford, beautiful city. Um, I've been there for three years, then I... I've been for one year in uh, New York, Long Island, to be more you know, specific. Um, and then uh, I uh, moved to Florida. And you're in Boca, is it? No, yeah, I'm in the next town. I'm in Delray Beach. Delray Beach? Like five minutes away from the, from the stadium. From, we, uh, we vacationed there. Uh, we didn't come this winter, but we vacationed the last two winters, and we've booked the uh, ne next winter. Uh, oh, Delray, that's awesome. Delray uh, courts every yeah. day. I play there every day. It was great. Yeah, you're lucky. I mean, Delray, it's a fantastic location. I feel like home here, you know, by the ocean. The weather is fantastic. So you live right by the stadium? But, uh, yeah, like five minutes away. Oh, nice. Uh, that's no such traffic. a great strip. That whole strip there is just fantastic. Yeah, Restaurants, beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's a holiday every day here. Right. <laughs> yeah. So when did you find and how did you find pickleball? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, I started pickleball like three and a half years ago okay. in, uh, in Milford. I was playing tennis with, uh, you know, with my, my students. I was teaching on the court and actually I was annoyed by the sound, by the sound of the ball. It is I loud. Did, yeah, I, I mean, I had, I had a couple of complaints, you know, uh, at, a, uh, at the front desk because of the sound. I couldn't focus. Especially yeah. indoor. The indoor, it's really loud. It's, it's, it's brutal. I mean, we don't know anything about a sport. Right. And those guys, you know, they, they were like pretty, uh, pretty awesome. They invited me to play. And uh, they say, listen, you have to try once. And if you don't like it, we promise that we're going to play a little slower. We're not going to bother you at all. And <laughs> since then, you know, I mean, I got like everyone else addicted. Right. To the, right. Like, I played my first tournament in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, yeah, the Gamma. I met uh, when I first met uh, Frank Anthony Davis, uh, right. oh, okay. like a professional players. Yeah, basically he introduced me to the you know to the pickleball world in the first game. He crushed me. Uh, so you were playing you were playing singles. Yeah, I traveled. There. Yeah, I mean I, I drove there only for singles. I didn't wow. know anything else about mixed doubles, nothing. So right. I played Frank Anthony Davis in the first round. He crushed me. I didn't see no. the ball. I didn't the I, first round. Yeah, first round. And, yeah. And uh, after that, I had a pretty good run, and I went all the way to the semifinals, you know, and I... Oh, in the him. loser's bracket. Oh. oh, on the bracket, exactly. And I met him again. Oh, ah, that's great. And I beat him uh, in, uh, in, in, in three sets, yeah. And all in the final. Yeah. In one tournament. One tournament, yeah. I played a lot, a lot of, I guess, right. a lot of good players. Yeah. I guess you, you learned a lot by the time you got back oh, yeah. to them. I mean, that backdrop actually, you know, helped me a lot, you know, to uh, improve my game, to right. uh, understand the game better, the rules. Um, <laughs> the rules. Yeah. I, I didn't even know the rules well. I know uh, serving's a little I, – I, the first time I played singles, I didn't know where to stand on the serve. You know, oh, yeah. I, had to, I had to learn that. You know, I've been playing pickleball forever, but it's not obvious. Yeah, it's uh, – and, um, yeah, I mean, it was a great experience in, uh, in Pittsburgh. And, actually, it's one of my favorite tournaments there. The Gamma? Yeah. The I, Gamma haven't, I haven't been to it. I got I to gotta get to it one of these years. Yeah, the surface is very, very fast, but uh, I like it. Oh, uh, okay. I like it. What's the surface? Is, is it a concrete or – It's like a painted cement. Yeah, that's – very, very, very fast and very fast. slippery. You gotta yeah. be careful. Yeah, your yeah. timing is off. I mean, it, it takes a while. Oh, yeah. It takes a while to get the timing right. Yeah, I know what you mean. So let me see. Uh, I don't know how we got on that conversation. Oh, that's how you. 
so you you found it at your tennis facility, and then yeah. you started playing a whole bunch. Uh, why? I ask everybody this: Why do you think pickleball is so addicting? Good question. Uh, number one, I think uh, pickleball is very addictive because I mean everybody can play. You know, there is no wage, there is no, that there are no limits. Either if you're like, you know, eight or 90, you know, at the national, they have a, um, a, a tournament, 90 plus. That's, I mean, brilliant. So everybody can play. Uh, the game is slower, you know, uh, you have more time to react. Uh, the ball stays in play more. So that's one of the reasons why, uh, you know, uh, every, everybody loves it. I mean, that's my opinion. Do you still play tennis at all? Uh, I play tennis, but not competitively, obviously. I just play, you know, uh, uh, for fun with my friends, you know. Uh, uh, but uh, I teach a lot of tennis, so... Do you work at a tennis facility or a class? Yeah, the tennis and pickable director at Polo Trace in Delray Beach, a great community. Uh, nice. It's almost like a country club, except that we don't have a golf course. Okay. Yeah, so beautiful big, community. Big tennis and pickable facilities? Uh, Six, uh, six tennis courts and four pickable court for dedicated pickable courts. Um, it's it's small, but it's 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 a great location and you know great uh, great people there. Oh, cool. Um, so let's let's talk about some of your recent tournaments. Uh, I guess your last one was probably Delray, right? You, your right. home your home uh, tournament. Um, yeah, I played home. I mean, we can say that. You played with Andre. Yeah play with a lot and uh i saw i watched the zane and merchant match that was a great match you guys won um uh, yeah actually i think it was our 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 best game of the tournament uh we had a you know a slow start uh wow. me and andre um uh, andre was also a little sick before this tournament i mean he was wow. uh, uh yeah he had like you know like a flu nothing you know major but uh right. um to be honest, uh, I'm gonna share something with you. I haven't practiced an hour before that tournament, and uh, I mean, I was surprised that I played so good. I didn't have time. I mean, I, uh, I had like you know a super super busy uh, a month. I didn't have time, you know, just to practice not even for an hour. Uh, I was surprised. I I, I mean, I, I played very very well, singles and doubles. Right? Yeah, played singles and doubles. Yeah, and playing with Andre, you know, to me it's a blast because uh, right. I feel very confident with him on the court. We have like you know great chemistry. We know each other very well. We don't even have to talk, you know, when we're on the court because we know exactly what we're supposed to do every single, every single, every single moment of the game. So uh, now during that match, uh, I, it, <laughs> I think you went to the bathroom a little too long or something. What was the, what happened? Not Andre. Andre, you know. Uh, he was trying, you know, to go to, you know, to change his T-shirt. But unfortunately, the referee was a little bit too, you know, serious, a little bit too... Right, right. I would say that she was... Uh, she tried to be all the bossy uh, on, on that moment. Uh, the bathroom was pretty far, and, you know, you only have two minutes. Right. To go into <laughs> That's a crazy and rule. At the end, you know, we figured it out, uh, but between us, between the players, you see what happened. Yeah, it was it's really nice. It was really yeah. nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what happened was Andre changed his shirt, and the referee had already called the score. And Zane and Altoff were like, we're not going to let that happen. Um, so she called a side out, and so Altoff and Zane dumped their serves in the no. <laughs> Altoff dumped his, Zane went total tennis serve on it. I think that was in, too, and then, just wait, in case. And, and then now Andre, or, uh, Eden's going to dump his serve, and now they're back on second serve, 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, I love it. That is sportsmanship right there. The crowd clapping. And so now we're we back on. All right. It was really nice. Uh, we're old friends. We respect each other. Uh, right. Uh, Want to win points like that? We don't want to win points like that. So we, you know, we respect each other. So uh, we figured it out. It looked a little windy. Was it windy? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I mean, it was super windy, super hot. Uh, wow. We're lucky that we played on a stadium, 
And yeah, we were, I never. I, I mean, we always play in the back courts. You know, the back courts. Oh yeah, I played in the first round on the back courts, but after okay. that, playing uh, on the stadium was a little bit better. But yeah, still, how, win. how was that? Yeah, it, it's pretty cool that they were able to retrofit that. Uh, oh yeah, and turn it into real dedicated pickleball courts. Yeah, very, I mean, very cool. Yeah, it was windy, but you know, it was windy for all four. Or, yeah. So you can't complain. Sometimes you have to deal with the wind, and it's not just for yourself; it's for everybody. So you uh, play. I I, I got to tell you, uh, you play in so many tournaments. I scrolled through your list of tournaments. You play everywhere. So prior to Del Rey, you played in the Simone Florida Grand Slam, right? Uh, playing singles and doubles again. You partnered yeah. with. Uh, what, what is it, James or J.W. Johnson? J.W. We had an amazing run uh, at, uh, you know, in Tampa. Uh, it was a great tournament, especially that we, I mean, we played for the second time together, me and, uh, me and J.W. It was our second, you know, tournament together, and we played pretty well. I mean, we beat a lot of good players, uh, yeah. like Zane uh, and his partner, uh, pretty good run. We had a pretty good run. I mean, we, we, we finished uh, fifth. Cool. And in singles, uh, you lost to Zane. How, how's, how's it playing Zane? He's an up-and-coming young kid. Yeah, I lost against Zane. I didn't play, you know, my best, uh, my best pickable in that tournament. He beat me, you know, in straight sets. But we had a pretty good game before that tournament at the World Cup. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, at the World Cup, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I was up a set and 10-9. I had a match point and uh, everything oh. changed. I mean, I lost in, uh, in three sets after I, you know, missed the match point. But uh, let me tell you something. Uh, Zane is it's, it's, it's a unique player, I, I would say. Yeah. Very fast with, you know, uh, a different, you know, technique than uh, the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. The serve is unbelievable. It's especially for you know, singles, uh, the, the serve matters a lot. Do you think the spin that he puts on before he hits it, really helps i mean is is, oh, is yeah. it cr crazy spin you don't want to know how the ball comes from from that serve every single way i mean you don't even wow. know where the is going to go after the bounce uh, in doubles you have more time to react because you know you, you have your partner your partner next to you but in singles it's it's so different huh. so he i would say that he serves a lot of aces it's not an ace but almost like an ace with that crazy serve Right, to be able to get a, a decent uh, return, right. Oh, yeah. Right. And then at Punta Gorda, uh, you played mixed doubles. You don't do too much mix, at least what I've noticed. You played no. with Megan uh, Charity, is it? Megan Charity, yeah. She's, uh, she's a great, uh, great girl. I like her a lot. I mean, she's also a great player. Uh, we played together before. But, uh, no, it's not. I mean, uh, we lost uh, in, the, um, in the second or third round. We didn't play well, but uh, doubles, a uh, mixed doubles is not my game. I don't really enjoy it, to be honest. That's why I don't right. play that much. Right. I noticed you didn't. You don't play too much, and and you played mixed doubles, men's doubles, and singles all at that tournament. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot to it's, do in one tournament. It's a lot, and also you know, as you know, the system it's 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 crazy. I mean, imagine playing like three events in 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 three days, and uh, let's say that you're playing you know the finals or semi semifinals, all three. Right. In Delray Beach, I had a pretty good run, but in the first round, I had like in a pretty decent, you know, game, 25 minutes. Second round, I played against Frank Anthony Davis. I beat him 11 1, 11 2, but still, it was like a tough match, almost 40 minutes. Right. Third, I played against um, Rob Nunnery, one hour and 10 minutes. Woo. 11 in the third. Long game. And you need to face. Ben Jones in the, you know, in the, in, in the fourth round <laughs> in the sun. How right. can you play? I mean, of course, my stamina is not my, you know, my, uh, I mean. You're advantage. a big guy. You're a big guy. But uh, getting, getting that in facing, you know, Ben Jones in the fourth round after three hours of pickable in the sun, it's, it's not easy. I got to ask you, Eden, have you always been this large? You're, you're, you're just a one of the largest players on the, on the courts? Um, no, actually, no. You would be surprised. But when I was uh, a tennis player, I was super, super skinny. Oh, really? Uh, I got well, like to find a picture. You got to send me a picture of that. Yeah. I want to put a side-by-side. 
<laughs> you would not recognize me. No, I was super, super skinny um, because I used to do a lot of stamina and I was all day on the court. Uh -huh. Now, with, you know, tennis, like high performance tennis, uh, I go a lot to the gym. You know, I do heavy weights, oh, which okay. doesn't help me, you know, uh, necessarily on the pickleball court. But that's, that's a routine. That's just a part of my life. Right. Um, yeah, it doesn't help me on the pickleball court. But, I, you know, it's, as I said, it's, it's just routine and part of my life. How often, how often do you work out? Every day, every day. I go every day at the gym, one hour, one hour and a half, but that's, that's pretty much it. Now, unfortunately, I have to stay isolated because... Yeah, tell me, what happened? What, you're, you were test positive? positive? Uh, yeah, uh, a week ago, unfortunately, I got you know, tested positive with COVID-19. You okay? You know, Everything was, okay? Yeah, I'm okay. In the first two days, it was you know, pretty, pretty bad, but uh, uh, afterwards, you know, it's just, it feels like a flu. That's right. all. Uh, but now I just have to, you know, to be quarantined for four more days. And after that, I have to retest and hopefully I'm going to uh, be back. You're, you're going to play in the Open, right? Yeah, I'm going to play the Open. But unfortunately, I withdraw from, um, from singles. It's only 18. And on the 18 is my last day of quarantine. And after that, I had to do a redo the test. So uh, right. unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play, uh, to play singles. I'm just okay. going to play doubles on the 23rd. Okay, who's your JW. 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 He's a great, great kid, 19. Also, he plays tennis, fast, quick, talented. So, I think uh, we're going to do well. Cool. Uh, oh, I noticed that Punicourt, uh, uh Frank won bronze. That was nice. I just oh, yeah. noticed that. Was singles. Frank. Frank is a phenomenal player. And uh, I don't know if you know, but he's... Uh, uh, by far my best body in the tour. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just Great saw him. I just saw him. I said uh, last night. No, uh, uh, what night? Uh, I just saw him at uh, Cherry Hill Racquet Club practicing, uh, warming up. I guess for the Open. Oh. Yeah, he lives. He lives in Jersey, which is close to me, and I see him at uh, Green Valley Country Club a whole bunch. He plays Great there. Guy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, nice guy. The, he, Believe it or not, he practices every day. He goes yeah. to the gym. He plays sometimes twice a day. He's Sorry. very, very passionate about the sport. Right. And, uh, you know, he's one of the best players in the world in singles. And uh, he never played tennis. He's so fast, man. So fast. I think he's the fastest guy in the tour. Yeah. He gets to everything. It's insane. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, okay. So, um, when you... How do you decide and, and how do you uh, uh, choose your partners for, you know, upcoming tournament? Do, do, you, do, you, do uh, you, have a whole, you have a whole bunch of tournaments all lined up? You have your partners lined up going forward? Or it's, uh, Unfortunately, because of my job, I can't play as many tournaments as I want. Uh, being a tennis director, you know, it takes you a lot of time. You know, you have to schedule tournaments, okay. events, and I can't miss from, uh, from my work, you know, every week. Like... Uh, uh, the other the other players. So usually I play. Uh, I mean, when I can with Andre, uh, uh, I told you before that I feel the most. I mean, super comfortable with him on the court. He's uh, is uh, the guy that I would play the most. Uh, but he has the, the same job as as I am. So we both right. we, we can play uh, a lot of tournaments with JW. Uh, he's also from Delhi, which is actually he lives uh, around the around the corner. Oh, like, cool. means uh, from where I live, um, I, I mean, I had some, uh, I scheduled some tournament with, uh, with Tyson McGuffin, but unfortunately because of the COVID-19, we couldn't play together, but uh, maybe later uh, cool. in the year. Um, yeah, usually it's very hard, you know, to, uh, to schedule uh, tournaments because I can't play week after week. Right. That's the problem. Maybe in the uh, summer when the season gets uh, uh, That's going to be a, a different story. Yeah, in the summer here in Florida, it's, it's brutal. It's, right. it's, it's tough. Yeah. So um, how often do you – like where, where do you practice? How often do you practice? How often do you get out? Uh, do I really have to uh, answer this question? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really practice uh, that much. Maybe once a week if I'm lucky. Wow. That's, that's all. 
I go to the gym every day, you know, I do my, you know, my, my routine, but uh, pickleball, I don't think I play more than once. Yeah, maybe before, you know, big events, uh, I try to play like two or three times a, a week, but right. that's it. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, are you working on any particular part of your game? Anything uh, that's, uh, you know, you're focusing on to try to improve? Two, two of them. Okay. Actually, that was a good question. Um, I'm working on my serve. I'm not right. going to be able to serve as good as, uh, as Zane, that's for <laughs> sure. But I'm working on my serve right now. I'm trying to get a little bit more, you know, power. And uh, uh, I also work on my reflex balance better uh, for doubles. I think okay. that's why one of my uh, uh, one of the things that I have to improve my reflex balance. Being, you know, like a big guy, you know, like not that fast as I okay. want to believe that I am. <laughs> how how big are you? How, how how tall are you? So I'm six four. Okay. And uh, two thirty-five. Two thirty-five. Wow. I, th I think you. Uh, I don't think there's anybody bigger. <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean I, I don't. I don't think that there's anyone uh, you know bigger than I am. But uh, <laughs> again, you're intimidating. You're just well. intimidating. I I remember seeing watching you at the uh, Jersey Open. Uh, that's where I feel I sent you that video film, and when I. When I met you the first time, it was just, you know, most pickleball players are not, you know, that built. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, what can I do? I mean, now I'm trying, you know, to, uh, to do more stamina uh -huh. and uh, to lose like, you know, 10, 15 pounds to be able to move better singles. Got it. Uh, it's not easy, but you know. Yeah, it's it's amazing you play so much singles because it singles is insane. I mean, singles. I mean, especially with these guys right now, like eighteen, nineteen. The you know that they're right, coming from, right. uh, and playing with them. If you don't, I mean, at this level, of course, I mean, at a pro level, if you don't put the ball away in the right spot, that ball is gonna keep coming back over oh, and yeah. over. Again. Right, and, right. The, the yeah. points go so, on and on, and the stamina you need. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. The stamina and the placement. Right. At the pro level. Right. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Uh, any comments on any of the new rule changes that just came out? Uh, no. I don't, I mean. The, no. the uh, serve, uh, the let serve. Does that bother? <laughs> Uh, I think, I mean, you know, uh, with this new serve, it's just another option. I mean, I don't think there's something something wrong. Actually, it's it's uh, it's a good thing, you know, especially for beginners and intermediate players, uh, giving, them, giving them another option, you know, to serve. Uh, I think they... Drop serve. They, yeah. what, about the let, what about the let serve uh, on the, you know, if it hits the net? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not my favorite rule, to be honest, uh, you know, because you can lose an important point. Let's say that your opponent has like you know, a match point or like a set point, right. and you're going to lose like that. It's not fair. Yeah. You know, and here is not table tennis. Yeah. Uh, and, and pickleball has so many let shots. I mean, it's, you know, it's compared to tennis. I mean, I play tennis a lot and you would hit the net every once in a while. You know, during rally and stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. There's just so many shots in pickleball that hit the net. No, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what? Uh, who's your who's your sponsor? Do you have a sponsor? Yeah, uh, I'm with Morak since I Monarch, like basically Dick's, Dick's Sporting Goods. Oh, cool. Yes, is since I started from uh, you know from where I played from where I, where I played you know my first. Yeah, they're years. huge around here. Dick's, Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually very, very happy with them. Uh, you know, I have like a great manager, uh, Riley Burgess, very professional. The company, you know, provides me absolutely everything. Oh, that's great. Uh, very, I mean, they're very professional. Um, I mean, I'm more than happy being with them. More, sure. yeah. Uh, any uh, serious injuries? Uh, uh, in, no, you know, pickleball, pickleball, not in your previous career. Uh, no, 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 I didn't have any, uh, you know, any uh, serious injuries. I just hurt my back uh, in Tampa, but nothing, you know, nothing serious. I got better in a couple of days, so nothing major. No, no. But uh, what paddle do you play with? 
Uh, actually, I play with uh, with the Crown Jewel uh, Crown Jewel Two. Uh, actually, this is my um, uh, my signature pedal. You can oh, find nice. it at Dixie. You know, uh, yeah, you can see here. I put a lot of weight when I play, you know, to, to get more power. Yeah, you need uh, more power. What's what's with but that? Yeah, power because uh, I mean it helps me, you know, at the net. But uh, but the pedal is great. You can find it at uh, you know at Dick Swing. It's great pedal. Is it like extended? Uh, what, what what's the sh shape? Oh, yeah. it's it's a little longer. Than, okay. Than, so it's a little longer. Longer grip too. Yeah. Yeah, I asked for that, you know, to be able to uh, to have, I mean, have more space here to for, for the volleys. I have like one-handed backhand, so an extra okay. space, you know, to grab your paddle with your left hand when you're getting ready for like a top spin backhand or like a top uh, volley. So yeah, the handle it's a little longer than 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 you than the rest of the paddles. So you don't use a two-handed backhand? No, I never, I never did. How about in tennis? In, I mean. One-handed. One-handed One in tennis too? Yeah, all school. What's weird was I had a two-handed in tennis, and when I came to pickleball, everybody told me I got to get rid of it. And now I see all these players with two-handed in pickleball, exactly. and I can't get it. I can't bring it back. It's like, you know, I had it in <laughs> tennis. At, I mean, that backhand of Zane Navratil, it's like yeah. one of the best two-handed backhand in, in pickleball. Yeah. That guy can hit that many passing shots. It's, it's insane. Right, right. But you need an ex you need a extended handle, you know, on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's the only way, you know, to be able to uh, to uh, to get your two-handed back and impeccable because the handle, I mean, the the actual handle is not that you know long. Uh -huh. But if you extend it a little bit, you have more, you know, more more space to grab it. See, it's, even to me, it's like I would I would I would be able to hit like two-handed. I don't. I just need just a little bit extra space here to grab my uh, my pedal. And uh, use my uh, one-handed uh, topspin backhand. So here's a personal question: Are you married? No, I'm not married. I have a I have a girlfriend for uh, uh, eight months, Adriana. Eight months. So uh, I guess you don't need to put a ring on it yet, but uh, don't wait too long. No pressure. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> oh, <geez. Yeah. laughs> uh, hopefully, we will. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, what, what do your parents think of you playing pickleball? I mean, my parents, you know, they're used to, you know, they're, they're used to, uh, to me playing, you know, sports because, I mean, since I was uh, a, a kid, I played like multiple sports, you know, uh, uh -huh. tennis, table tennis, soccer, uh, swimming. So, uh, I mean, actually, they are very proud. They, they, they watch all my games. Uh, but, they, also, I mean, they trained you to be a tennis player. And, uh, I know, I, uh, they, and tennis is a little harder, but uh, they also play back in uh, back in Romania. Oh, at our venue in Romania. I mean, the, the name of the venue is Eden Sport Club. Okay. Uh, uh, and we have pickable. It's the only location in Romania where you can play pickable. Okay, you got to send me a, a, a map location or something about it. Of I'll course, yeah. I also can send you some videos. We have some, we had tournaments there. Oh, cool. We, yeah. How, how big is pickleball in Romania? Is it like starting to grow? All in my location, uh, unfortunately for now, but a lot of people play. Got it. Yeah. We have four indoor courts. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. It's better than nothing. We have to start sure, from somewhere. Sure. Okay. Uh, I appreciate your time, uh, Eden. I will, uh, I'm going to send you uh, a Pickleball's Life shirt and a hat. Thank you very much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for doing this uh, interview. Uh, no, you want to give a shout out to anybody? Uh, out there that uh, you, you want to say hi to? Uh, I, want, <laughs> I would like to say hi to all of my friends first from, uh, you know, from Connecticut because, you know, basically they introduced me to the pickable world. Oh, you know, to, what are some of their names? What are some of their names? To Shane, I mean, to, to Sean Diamond, you know, he introduced me to pickable and basically he's my coach, Sean Diamond. I mean, uh, I really love that guy. Uh, uh, so I want to say, you know, many, many thanks, uh, for, uh, Get you into it. yeah, Sean Diamond from Connecticut. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much. Gene. Thank you. And thanks for the invitation. Yep. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Another way you can support my channel is to use the Amazon product links I have in the description of the video. There's no cost to you or added cost. Or you can go to my Amazon storefront and select a product. And check out my Pickleball Venues Google Map. There's a link in the description. Hey, if you like this video and want to help support my Pickleball channel, we have Pickleball is Life t-shirts available in both v-neck and crew cut, in both dry fit and cotton, with sleeves, sleeveless, and women's racerbacks. I just got in new A4 blocked shirts with stripes down the side. For the fall, I just got in North End women's and men's radar quarter zip performance long sleeve tops. And I have men's performance shorts available. I also have Pickleball's Life hats and sport towels. You can purchase them from me on the court, online at Etsy, or just Venmo me the money and I'll mail them right out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, all I ask is that you please subscribe by clicking on the top left and share this video with your friends. If you want to see some other pickleball videos, they're here in the center. My other YouTube channel, Tesla Life, is on the bottom left. Check it out. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are listed on the right. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.